Hey everyone, it's Riley. So for a little while now, my sister has been planning to get a new hamster, and one random weekend we went to a couple stores to go and pick some things up. Right here we're at Home Depot, and my sister picked out some handles for the lid of her cage because we had to make some lids for it obviously. Then we got some wire mesh for the same exact reason. We also went to a local pet store and got lots of bedding and some orchard grass hay. And the pet store is pretty small, so workers kept walking by me as I was filming, and it was very embarrassing. Filming in stores is just super embarrassing in general, I do not like doing it. So after all that, we got home and set up this new hamster cage. But anyways, this all happened a couple weeks ago. Back to present date, we have a new addition. So this little guy here is Kirby. He is my sister's male hybrid dwarf hamster, and he's around three to four months old. My sister Audrey picked his name out based on Kirby, like the video game, and I think she made a great choice. I really love it. So really quick, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Kirby's cage just a little bit because it is new. So Audrey's past hamster Olive lived in a 450 square inch bin cage, and after Olive passed, my sister said that if she got another hamster, she wanted to get a larger cage. So conveniently, my grandparents actually have two 55 gallon tanks in their basement that haven't been used in years. So we picked up a 55 gallon, and this is now my sister's hamster cage. The floor space of this tank is about 576 square inches, and it's considerably taller than my sister's last cage, which was 12 inches high. This cage is 17 and a half inches high, so we're able to fit a lot more bedding in here. We got Kirby on February 6th, so we've had him for a little while, and we are currently in the taming process with him. We're going pretty slow with it at the moment since he was very scared to begin with and he actually did hiss at my sister one time from the start. Since then, we've given Kirby some more time to get adjusted to his cage, and he does seem a lot more relaxed now. He's definitely a very food-motivated hamster. The only way I was able to film him was by bribing him with some popcorn here. That's actually a good thing though, since taming hamsters revolves a lot around giving them treats and bonding with them in that way. So hopefully, Kirby's love for food is going to make him easier to tame. Kirby has settled in great to his cage so far. He's got this favorite corner right here that he always retreats to, and he kind of just sits here and glares at us from it. Anyways, so far Kirby seems like a pretty relaxed hamster and not very aggressive or anything. So I'm just really excited for when we can advance with the whole taming process thing and hopefully be able to hold him. I really think he's going to enjoy his life with us, and I'm super happy that we get to take care of him. I think he is so cute. So that's about it for the video. I hope you enjoyed meeting Kirby, and I look forward to sharing more clips of him with you. Thanks so much for watching.